Wagwan everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Peter. In today's video, I am trying out the Jaclyn Hill newly released Lux Legacy Collection. So if you are interested to hear my thoughts on this extravagant collection, please do stay tuned. I want to get a taste of what everything was like formula wise and so some of the things didn't appeal to me like buying all the lip liners that go along with her lipstick collection i feel that i can line my lips using the lipstick itself and i'm just interested in the mattes and the colors however because i wanted to inform you guys about the formula of the lip liners and some of the claims that are stated i bought one lip liner to be able to review and this color is in the shade sweetheart all her lip liners are the exact same color as the lipstick there are four colors in the collection and i got three of them i bought love faith and sweetheart it reminds me of corinthians 13 now abide it faith hope and charity but these three the greatest of these is love so that's what comes to my mind when i hear the names of these lip colors when i was watching jacqueline introduce her products i realized that faith and hope is similar in color and so i decided that i would just skip out on getting hope and do some lip swatches i will be reviewing two of her four eyeliners i got the color smooth black and smooth brown I got the first base eyeshadow primer, two of the sheer loose setting powders. I got the shade sheer light. I got this shade because I wanted to use sheer light under my eyes. And I got the color sheer deep because I wanted to put this powder all over my face. The other item I got was the all set setting spray. You could use it before makeup or after. And I have the Dare Mom Pack. Palette. So the Dear Mom palette comes with pictures on the back of different moms with their kids. This is only available on Jaclyn Hill's website. There's another palette called the Lux Legacy palette that does not have the picture of her mom on there. It has a different design. So the purpose of creating two palettes was this is a gift to a mom and the other palette, the Lux Legacy palette is just yours to keep. I decided to buy this because I thought it was cute and it's just different and I really liked the meaning behind it. These products is to gear at older skin types. Hydration, reducing fine lines and wrinkles and blurring and all of those things are in these products. So let's dive in. I already put the foundation on my face. I have not put anything on my eyes. Didn't want anything interfering with any of the claims that she's making to be able to give you guys an honest review. Okay, so this is the palette. This is so beautiful. This is the Jacqueline logo. It's actually three-dimensional. This is how they decided to create, name, and organize the palette. The Lux Legacy palette is the same exact palette. It. the difference is the design exact same formula exact same everything just the design is different so i'm going to add concealer and then i want to set my under my eyes with the sheer light powder this is the packaging for the setting powders this is really really nice um nicer design her unique signature and also the container is similar to the under eye powders that she already had so they're similar in height the only difference is that this is bigger or let me put it here so you can see how much so i'm gonna put on concealer and i'm gonna set my under eyes with the sheer light powder let me tell you what sheer light says it says make some moves with jaclyn hills powder move loose setting powder blurs and smooths the appearance of skin while setting makeup with a soft focus finish and subtle radiance good for skin ingredients oh there is good for skin ingredients like squalene 
helps lock in moisture while a key amino acid and aloe delivers a silky feel while calming the skin feel empowered that's cute all right so there are six shades you have share fair share light share medium share tan share deep and share rich so i got share deep second to last deepest shade and i got share light which is the second lightest shade all right so this luminous powder is supposed to provide hydration and also no creasing So I suffer with dry under eyes and so my concealers and powders tend to crease under there. So for something that's going to provide me with hydration and no creasing, if this works then I'm buying all of their, I'm buying more. So, are you able to see a difference? Um, uh, I'm not seeing anything spectacular. This is almost like a, a neutral powder, it feels like. All right, so I'm gonna leave that to set and we will be back. This is also supposed to provide some glow. So we'll see how everything ties together. Um, this is supposed to be a sheer formula with some sort of pigment in there. So I will weave, please let me just see what's left. So I think I'm putting up too much powder now. So it's kind of providing me with texture. But maybe that's something the setting spray will actually get rid of. We will see. But so far, the powder is finely milled. I'm, oh, I can see a subtle glow right here on my cheekbone. Maybe the glow comes on the high points of wherever you put it. So because here is flat, it doesn't show under my eyes the glow. But then because here is kind of lifted, it shows a little bit of the glow. Well, we'll see how that works. So I'm gonna try the first base eyeshadow primer. This is what the packaging looks like. I love the black sleek look. It would be kind of coolish if the writing was actually 3D on the tube, but I guess that would just not be. So I'm gonna shake it just in case it's very, I don't know, liquidy. Okay, so it has a wand. So I'm gonna just add, this is supposed to be sheer. It said a smoothing eyeshadow primer that extends the wear of your timeless eye looks. It also is supposed to make your eyeshadow last longer and it's also crease resistant. It prevents creasing, so that's good because I tend to get creasing so the the wand is pretty rigid it's it's not soft like um most concealers um are but i guess this is different i don't know but this is a translucent um primer so it's not necessarily gonna have a color so it is a squeezy tube and at the same time, it has that applicator. I like the idea of the applicator. So let me tell you what they say about the palette. In the meantime, while my eyes dry, the formula glides on like butter and you get that high pigment coverage in one stroke. Matte satin and sparkle finishes with powdered rubies to illuminate skin and visibly brighten for a silky lustrous finish you'll never get enough of. This is a fall palette, Jacqueline said. 
but uh, I guess because it's Mother's Day coming up that she launched this. I would not be expecting to wear these colors right now, but I mean, hey, sometimes we can break the rules, right? The palette looks very neutral to me, therefore can fit most skin tones. There are six shimmers. The rest are mattes. Mamacita, which is this bluish charcoal color, has some sparkle to it. I would be interested to use Mamacita, Moo, and Family AF. I'm going to use Pudding Girl or maybe Rechi as my transition color and go from there. So this already has creasing in there. Hmm. Should I have set that with the powder? I don't know. There's still some areas that are not dry. I guess I'll just blend that out with my finger. So let's go in with a transitioning shade. I'm going to try, let's see what Rachi, this color. And let's see. Okay, so this is pigmented. eye primer is still very tacky so it's not really making me get to blend real good but hopefully that will blend out soon all right so I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna go into this call pudding girl I'm gonna try to get into that let's okay so that's a nice brown color it's just more red tone I think let's go into Mamacita I want to see what I get with this color okay I like this color it's a nice deepening kind of a blue to create a smoky look it's kind of like a charcoal but with really nice blue tones or hues so I think the palette is definitely pigmented the primer really hugs the color I'm gonna add some of this brown body I'm gonna add some of that to my crease Put it down below here. Kind of smoke that out. This is a pointed color brush, and I'm gonna go back into Pudding Girl. This color. I'm gonna put it on my eyelid here to kind of blend everything in. I'm gonna use this brush, and I'm gonna go into Moo, which is this green, and I'm gonna put that in the center. I really feel like there is a grip on these colors. So I think that eye primer is definitely working. It's doing what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna turn the other side of the brush and I'm gonna go into Family AF. This is a shimmer shade, so let's try. Okay. So that looks nice. This is a very pigmented palette. I am definitely surprised. Family AF looks green, but it's actually, oh, it's an olive tone. It looks olive, but it's almost like a gold and a yellow mix at the same time. All right, so I'm gonna take this brush again and go back into Mamacita, this one and just see if I can deepen that crease. Pinty Butter, I'm gonna go into this color to place that on my brow bone and above, and above the crease. And so what I'm gonna do is take a small brush and I'm gonna take Family AF and put that down below on my lower lash line. Okay, I don't 
think that's working. I'm gonna blend that with another color. Let's blend apple pie or let's blend thankful. Let's blend this color with family AF. What is a small brush and I'm going to get apple pie let's see what that looks like apple pie okay let's get apple pie and we're gonna put that in the brow bone area let's just okay so that works All right. it's pretty subtle I like that so we're gonna try eyeliner so these pencils are supposed to stay put i tried the black liner and it definitely did stay put i have an issue putting eyeliners on my waterline usually i put it below my waterline because i get irritation tried this and i noticed that there was no irritation i think i'll put the brown one on my waterline and see let's see if it makes a difference this brown this is called smooth bronze Let's see if it shows up. Yeah, you can see a difference, right? You can see that the lid is darker. I'm gonna put some of this on the lower lash line area. So I actually like the way the bronze have helped blend some of these colors. I'm definitely liking that. I think I will use this to create a wing this is very smooth i just love the fact that it's just not black this is definitely a nice bronze i like this it's not it's not brown but bronze all right so i'm gonna take the black pencil and i'm gonna put this literally on my waterline just to deepen that bronze I'm just very glad that I found a pencil that is non-irritating. And so I'm sure contact lens wearers would probably enjoy something like this. Or those people who have sensitive eyes, who get irritated like me. This is the bomb. So there is smooth black. Smooth black is a matte. Smooth black brown, which is also matte. Smooth bronze, which has a shimmer. You can see there's a slight shimmer at the top here. Smooth charcoal, which is a matte. And smooth blackberry, which is matte. So, so far I'm loving the look. Now I'm gonna bronze. I'm about to set my face. I've added bronzers, blush, and highlighter. And so now I'm going to use the Share Deep and set all of my face. And well, it definitely has some pigment, even though it says it's translucent it has pigment because it just made my forehead darker so it definitely looks great um, not seeing any luminous finish or if it is there it's definitely not blurring or blinding kind of looks more matte to me so far I'm liking it gonna get sheer light and I'm going to see if I can make my forehead brighter I can definitely see some luminosity and the powder definitely goes right into my skin I'm definitely seeing blurring and I'm definitely liking Definitely liking this collection. Get some sheer deep and brush off some of that. Make that big. You can see some of that going away because 
this is definitely pigmented. Now I'm gonna set with a finishing spray. This is the All Set Setting Spray. Lock in your look with this refreshing and setting facial spray. Shake well before use. Close eyes and mist face to set makeup. So first of all, this is not a mist. I'm thinking a mist is a fine sprayer, but this is heavy. It's more direct. It's like a mixture of mist and direct spraying. And so you get some big blobs of the liquid and then you get some mist in some other areas. But immediately what I've noticed is that it actually gave me a glow. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the lips. All four colors were pretty much pink with different hues. And so I got three of them because they were so similar that I didn't really wanna pick up Hope. Faith looks similar to Hope. This is Faith. Hope is a lighter version. It was just too light for my skin tone, so I just thought I'd skip it. Sweetheart goes along with this pencil. They're the same exact thing. Love is the deepest shade that they have, and that one is this color so we have faith sweetheart love so i'm gonna go in right now from lightest to darkest and i'm gonna go in with faith and that is omg bright so wow I think this is just too bright for my skin tone. I'm not even interested to see it dry down. This is just too light. The color that I'm most interested in is Sweetheart. I'm gonna line my lips with the Sweetheart lip liner. The formula for the pencil is very smooth. This is just as bright, Sweetheart. I feel like this one is just as bright. I feel like I could probably pull it, pull this lip off with maybe a, an ombre look, getting a deeper lip liner. All right, so the last shade I'm gonna use is Love. Okay. I think I definitely prefer love. These colors do feel um, a little drying. It's not as moisturizing as they claim. So let's talk about the lips. The colors were just a little bit too pale for me, for my liking, for my skin tone. I think the only color that I actually gravitate to is love. The other two colors were just too pale. I'm not liking the formula because it does feel dry. The pencil was very, very smooth. These powders definitely blurs. So even though it's translucent, it still has some pigment to it. Very smoothing nonetheless. I'm not seeing any creases under my eyes which is a great thing. I normally have a lot more creasing under my eyes. I've always tried to eliminate creasing and it's a struggle. It did give some sort of luminosity, but not too noticeable. You know, just a hint. Definitely going to be using these every day. The setting spray, I like the setting spray because it just gave me that nice glow. The glow was just all I needed. Not too much, not too little, but just perfect. However, the sprayer though, will shoot blobs of big water droplets, a little bit more powerful than a mist. I did like the primer. I do like the tackiness that the primer provides. It doesn't create and give me any pigment so that it would alter the color or anything. It doesn't dry down quickly though. You're gonna have to probably dab it with your finger to get the drying process to speed up. I am pleased with the palette overall. I was definitely surprised. The colors are pigmented. They went on smooth smoothly and blended nicely and um, and created a very nice 
everyday look this palette is definitely for everyday looking at the colors online it, it didn't seem all that spectacular but when you have the palette in person it definitely pack a punch so i love the palette i love the pigmentation of it and i love the design of it i love i love i love the eyeliners omg i am gonna get more of these eyeliners it definitely stays on my lower lash line and without irritation i love the, the smoothness the blendability of it it glides on easily and you can actually create like nice smoky looks with it i definitely appreciate this collection that's it for the jacqueline hill lux legacy collection drop me a comment below let me know what your thoughts are thank you so much for watching if you are new to this channel welcome to the peter sherman family don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so that that every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. Diehearted subscribers, thank you so much for sticking with me. If you feel that there's somebody who will be inspired by this video, please do share. In the meantime, walk good.